Good afternoon, Clockhouse. Guess what time it is? You're right, it's 2.30 Friday. Hot chocolate with a head time. Soon, I really hope we can do this together. But here we are again with a couple more weeks to go before the end of term and then the summer holiday ahead of us. Well done to you all this week. Well done for keeping going. Well done for impressing your current teacher and your new teacher, learning all about the country of your new class. This week, I'm gonna nominate another special group of people that help us make our school the best it can possibly be, and that's the governors. Mr. Leeper and the governors have been really supportive throughout this process and about this time. And last night we had a big meeting with them and they really praised us all as staff and thanked us for what we did and they really praised all of you for everything you've done. So let's have hot chocolate for the governors today. Okay, so I'm with my hot chocolate. I hope you've got your special drink ready. And here we go, the very lazy ladybird. We don't have lazy people at Clockhouse because we have to keep working super hard. Let's see what she's been up to. This is the story of a very lazy ladybird. She liked to sleep all day and all night. And because she slept all day and all night, this lazy ladybird didn't know how to fly. One day, the lazy ladybird wanted to sleep somewhere else. But what could she do if she couldn't fly? Then the lazy ladybird had a very good idea. When a kangaroo bounded by, she hopped into her pouch. But the kangaroo liked to jump. I can't sleep in here, cried the lazy ladybird. It's far too bumpy. So when a tiger padded by, she hopped on his back. But the tiger liked to roar. I can't sleep said the lady, la lazy ladybird. It's far too noisy. So when a crocodile swam by, guess what she did? She hopped on his tail. But the crocodile liked to swish his tail in the water. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. I'll fall into the river. So when the monkey swam by, you've guessed it, she hopped on her head. But the monkey liked to swing from branch to branch. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. I'm feeling dizzy. So when the bear ambled by, she hopped onto his ear. But the bear liked to scratch, scratch, scratch. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. I'll never sit still. So when an elephant trundled by, she hopped onto his trunk. At last, said the lazy ladybird, I found someone who doesn't jump, swing, swish, roar or scratch. But at that very moment, the elephant sneezed. Achoo! Just like I did, if you didn't notice. I didn't quite time it right. The poor old lazy ladybird had to fly at last. Ah! So she wasn't that lazy after all. She did learn to fly. I'm terribly sorry about me sneezing in the middle of the story. Have a good day, everyone. And I'll see you next week. Keep going. We're really proud of you all. Bye.